there's a chance. Joe's going to get win one here, Tony. Derek Carr, Darren Waller was a big day for Waller as a tight end. Yeah, he is just fantastic. Wide receiver skills at the tight end position. Had a huge good. Huge, I'll say. 200 yards. Two touchdowns. 13 catches. Vegas is up 11. Couldn't hold it. Sam Darnold for the score. Power run. This is your big back when you need it down there. Oh, to be watching this game with a Jets fan. Because they're like, oh no, the Jets are going to win a game. What's going to happen here? It's a turnover here. There's Javelin Gidry forces the fumble of Henry Ruggs, and the Jets get it back. Good strip, good hustle. They get the ball with a chance now to take the lead. And they've got Ty Johnson for the go-ahead score. The Jets are going to win a game. They might mess up getting the number one overall pick in the draft. Jets fans are panicking. The Raiders, though, come back down the field. Fourth and three under two minutes left. It's Carr looking for Aguilar. Incomplete. He's on blitz. All out blitz. He didn't set his feet there. Derek Carr left that one a little bit short. Mm, remember that blitz. They get the ball back. Here's another chance. There's only a four-man rush. It's a deep shot. It's Aguilar, and he overthrows him. But, but that's scary anyway. Yes, but that leaves 13 seconds left. No timeouts. You can't all out blitz now here. Can you leave your corners one-on-one? -on -one? How's blitz break? Are, Are you, you kidding me? <laughs> and why is the corner jumping on the underneath route? Why is he one-on-one? -on -one? I don't know. <laughs> Here's my man Brent Musburger. Jackpot for the Raiders. <laughs> With the win, snapping that two-game losing streak. They had a rough trip in Atlanta. They survived as Greg Williams blitz comes up snake eyes. Raiders by three. Our post game. They, they all outed, all out blitzed us. Um, but as soon as I saw it, man, I was, I was thankful. Uh, you know, and that's why uh, we prepare the way we do. That's why Coach teaches the way he does. And I give Coach Gruden all the credit in the world because he has prepared me and equipped me to handle those situations whenever. We get those kind of looks to be able to handle it accordingly. That actually brought you out of your seat. It, the it, I was so upset, <laughs> Mike. And I sit next to Rodney every week. We talk about situational football. 13 seconds left, no timeouts. What do you do? You protect the sideline, protect the end zone, let them throw the ball in the middle field, come in, make the tackle, the game's over. Let's get to the great connections presented by Xfinity as we go deeper into that, that frustrating end. For the, Ra for the Jets, that the Raiders are able to pull away that key victory. Yeah, Coach, and we, we practice these situations every single day. And I've never practiced a situation where you're blitzing all your guys and you're leaving your defensive secondary out. Man, 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 it's great. Island, no timeouts left. I, I know you, Bill Belichick, would never put you in that situation. And, and I'm going to ask you, if you're Adam Gase, do you overrule that? Well, I think you practiced that before it ever happened. So said, what are we going to do in these situations? As you know, the last, your Friday practice, your Saturday practice, hey, here's the last play of the game. How are we going to play it? I, that was unbelievable. It just seems like they're tr they were trying to lose on, they were trying to lose to get that number one pick. They're great connections presented by Xfinity. It was a great connection for the Raiders to get the game winning touchdown. And Mike Flory, I'll bring you in. You spoke to DeForest Buckner about how this ended up as a much better trip than it looked like it was going to be a few seconds before. Yeah, absolutely, especially with the challenge of facing Deshaun Watson. DeForest